Warren Ranch started in uh, late 1850s, early 1860s when John Warren immigrated from England. So there have been farming operations almost from the beginning in addition to livestock. The cattle for us are a tool and what we're trying to accomplish there is, is a lot of uh, native prairie restoration and, and to find a good relationship that works for our wildlife populations and promotes good hunting opportunities, uh, healthy soils and healthy watersheds. Farming and ranching has always been a large part of Texas culture. The Katy Prairie Conservancy, by providing opportunities for farmers and ranchers to uh, lease our property for livestock production or rice farming, provides a number of services. It allows these people in this area that have grown up in agriculture uh, to continue to pursue their livelihood, but they also provide opportunities for us help us with maintenance on our properties, their eyes and ears on our properties. We take more of a holistic management approach, so we're looking at everything as it interacts together. Going back to a more natural system, uh, working more with nature than against it is more profitable. It's very rewarding to see a piece of ground that was bare or had no good vegetation for wildlife or for livestock consumption and then after we've taken actions over a period of years we go in and we see tall grass prairie coming back and so through our use of fire and grazing we're stimulating that seed bed we're bringing it back uh, these rice fields provide habitat for a lot of different things uh, a lot of native wildlife shorebirds uh, migratory waterfowl uh, all kinds of water birds uh, we've had good rain recently, so these fields will stay flooded throughout the winter and will provide habitat for just about everything that likes water that uh, migrates through this area. Uh, and in Texas, we've always been blessed with plenty of places to go. Uh, as development moves in and around metropolitan areas, those open spaces are rapidly going away. And I believe that uh, providing opportunities for rice farming, cattle ranching, all of those things will keep places open where people can have an opportunity to, to experience what this country has always been like. It's really important to start to reconnect kids with the land and with agriculture and, and how everything works together. As more and more families are off the farm, you know, what that was essentially everybody was a farmer or a rancher when, when our country began. Uh, they produced their own food. They understood what it took to survive and make a living with the land. So we've got a lot of kids that think chocolate milk comes from chocolate cows. Having places like rice farms and cattle ranches out on the Katy Prairie with the lands that we have really helps to show students who don't ever get to see these sorts of areas what land historically looked like in the Houston area. I know kids who are out in the Katy area celebrate the rice festival every year but have still never actually seen the rice and it's amazing when you actually get to see the kids pick up that rice, open the plants and really see this is where the food comes from, this is, this is what we eat.